Hi guys, Yossi here, co-founder of Nisnas Industries. We're here hosted in a beautiful space um, called El Pasha. It's a beautiful dining space here in Haifa uh, that's uh, owned by a good friend of ours, Aran. Uh, and we're very thankful to be here. Uh, it's really wonderful to be able to uh, talk about our gear in this beautiful space. Okay. So what we wanted to do is talk a little bit about um, how we got here uh, with our new products. So uh, we're going to be launching our WET Whiskey Echo Tango decanter, uh, and that's going to be coming out uh, within the next couple of weeks, mm, maybe possibly a little bit more than that. And this is a good opportunity to talk about the progression of product that we have going back all the way back to our beginning. So maybe some of you guys know, we started all the way back in 2010. Uh, that's a good 10 years ago now. Uh, and we never really meant to, um, to, to, <laughs> to end up where we are now, that's for sure. But we also never really uh, meant to get into uh, the flask, uh, the tumbler and the, the whiskey biz. It just kind of like happened to us while we were at it. So it's kind of cool to stop one second, talk about how we got here and why we got here, uh, and the circumstances that led to this and the journey uh, that, that brought us here. Um, so let's rewind a little bit and talk about, uh, about 2005 or six or so, would you say, Max? 2005, the coal flask? So we had started a social business and we had no uh, real intent to make any products uh, in the whiskey sphere. We made a um, uh, wooden bike grip, wooden bike handle, uh, and we thought it was lovely. And it was, uh, but pretty much right after we launched the Kickstarter for it, we got to see how small uh, the community that we could build around it would was and, and would be or could be, which makes perfect sense because, I mean, how many people would want to buy a wooden bike grip, right? Well, anyway, so that's where we're at in 2005. And then we had kind of like a, a, a brainstorm that, that one has uh, when one is an entrepreneur. Uh, and we were like, what can we make from this thing and how do we... How do we go from here? Because if the people that want to buy a wooden bike rip are like, you know, if we have 100 around the world, what can we make from it? And lo and behold, we came up with a flask. Uh, and that was a giant hit. And that was our coal flask. And that was our first foray into how do we make something uh, that has mass appeal, but also requires a lot of refinement. So it was a, it was like a classic Kickstarter case of huge success on Kickstarter, but at the same time, a very difficult way uh, from, uh, from product idea to maturation to like uh, something that we can deliver, uh, including shipping, including packaging, all of these things. So it was very, very raw, uh, the coal flask, and it took a long time to get like the full design into like kind of like a mass produced amazing thing that it is now and our progression from the coal flask to what you see here is the uppercut flask and i would say that that's our most perfect um uh, full piece as, as as a product goes so it's a it's it's a perfect unit uh, with packaging that we love and has a worldwide following um uh, so that's kind of like how we went from like goofy idea to something that works some, and needs work to something that's pretty perfect as a product. But then it, we really needed, needed to step up our game with more products. So we made the Oak Honey Whiskey Tumbler. And that was, like, I think that was our biggest success to date. So worldwide appeal, people love it. It has its issues for sure because it's, it's like a living thing. It's one wood piece. So communicating with the end customer, how to be able to use wax to keep it supple and so on and so on and so on and so on. But an amazing learning experience for us as entrepreneurs. And if you're looking at this as kind of like an entrepreneurial journey, it's definitely a pinnacle of it. Um, and then 
God, if we were to get into the, like all the stories behind how all of this happened, like there's no end to it. But keeping this at this at the few minutes that we have for this video, uh, let's talk about how we ended up here. So this is our new product, and that's coming out now. Um, so it's we called it the WET, uh, the Whiskey Echo Tango. Uh, it's uh, go with me if you're into the play on words or not. That's fine. And the idea is to be able to create a decanter that also works uh, in as kind of like an infusion uh, experimental base. So you can use it, uh, you can use it either just as a straight up decanter, or you can use these oak spheres here to put into an infusion base at the bottom of the decanter. Uh, and then you can either kind of like age your whiskeys a little bit or get more creative with other spirits like gin or tequila and create more fun infusions with or without these oak spheres. So it's kind of like if you were to go through the journey of like <laughs> where we started off with a bike grip, a wooden bike grip, and then here it's kind of like night and day. But the entrepreneurial journey of like going from that to this is, um, I mean, when you look back at it, especially when we look back at it, we're like, God, every step was like, whole kind of like big story, big like lessons learned behind every step of the project, of the, of the product. Uh, but looking back, it kind of like, it almost feels like, um, like we're able to connect the dots. It makes sense to me. Uh, and it's kind of fulfilling, you know, like you take a look at this and you're like, huh, we've come a long way. Um, so getting ready to launch this on Kickstarter, it's kind of exciting for us because it's kind of like you learn, you learn, you learn, you learn, you get better, 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 and better, and you come up with this, which is our, our latest. Anyway, hope that little rant was interesting to you guys. If it was, uh, we want to hear it. Feel free to comment and share, and look forward to us launching this beast uh, in the coming weeks. At the link at the bottom of the page, we're going to have a, a link to our sign-up page. You can sign up to get the decanter first uh, for less uh, as soon as our Kickstarter project launches. Um, and then you get to be one of the first people that owns it. All right. That's it from us. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.